Groves has done in this game. And the thing I noticed most in that first half was his offense. He was not wasteful with his opportunities and also did a great job of converting with the chances he had. Yeah, for the most part, he took only good shots. And given his success, they may want him to be a bit more aggressive in the second half. Tipping off the second half, here's Fred Hoiberg's five. Zach Levine is out there with Dwayne Wade. Then there's Valentine. Then there's Robin Lopez. And it's Silk and at the four. They grab their own miss. Yes! And that one is yes! stuffed right through. And gobbled up that rebound and went straight into attack mode on the putback. Oof, he, he is one of the most determined rebounders, guys, uh, we have got in the NBA. The tireless work ethic, the passion. He's a guy the team relies on for that. Here's Wade following the score by Derrick Rose. Tries again. Lopez, no luck. Boy, one out of four to begin the second half. Not in rhythm yet. And that one's good, James. Marvelous start to the second half. Three for three. Bulls trail by 17. And Cavs coach Teron Liu, very comfortable in his own skin. Doris not intimidated to coach his superstar talent. Well, Kevin, as you know, the best coaches in this league hold everyone accountable. And remember, Ty Liu has known LeBron since LeBron James was in high school. And you have to love that he engages the big three in conversation, making sure all three are comfortable. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. They've been struggling here on offense. Oh, yeah, a bit out. of a dry spell for sure. Chicago calls timeout. Way to work, gentlemen. Let's go now. Hustle up. Cleveland is the team to beat in the East. They steamrolled through the Eastern Conference a year ago. And I, I think as long as their roster stays pretty much intact, they've got to continue to exert that dominance. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Corver's checked in. Levine can't hit. The Cavaliers leading by 19. Corver with it. Now guarded by Valentine. James and Cleveland again with the bucket. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. And this Cavs team, a veteran-laden group, Doris, no question about that, and they're great, but do they have a way to get even better? Well, it's interesting because their core players are either at their peak or perhaps on the downswing, and they probably need to luck out in the draft or free agency to move the needle from here. Wade outside. Here's Levine. Yeah, his shot's been out of sync, and it really has held them back tonight. And that's out of bounds. Chicago will retain possession. Just under two and a half minutes into the third quarter now. The pass to Wade. Six to shoot. Hangs in midair and converts on the double clutch layup. Wade's got 10. The only way he was getting to the hoop was to use the double clutch. How good is King James at spreading the floor involving everyone on the offensive end? The feed to Lopez. That falls. Nice feed that time from Dwayne Wade. Wade's got five assists tonight. Love with a wide-open look. And there's another one for the Cavaliers. And they've had assists now on their last three baskets. Here's Wade. Softly drops in the floater. Wade's got four points in the quarter. Went with the teardrop, and the timing had to be just right on the release, and it was. Near the three-point line, it's Love. James kicks to Love. Sinks the three-pointer. He's got nine. It's a plus-five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. So many players, Doris, in the NBA make things look so easy to do. You know, having played, it's it's not. It is not effortless. It, there's a lot that goes into it. Yeah, the two guys that come immediately to mind at the point guard position are, are Kyrie Irving and Steph Curry. And I think it has to do with that magnificent handle that each of them has, able to put defenders on skates with, you know, a lean here, a crossover there. Uh, you think about the great scorers. Kevin Durant, right, makes those three-pointers in transition. Uh, it comes off the top of his hand 
hands so quickly. Carmelo Anthony, another, you know, just naturally gifted scorer. You know, Melo puts 25 on you. Didn't look like he broke, broke a sweat. It. But doesn't it also stand to, to reason that the work these guys put in – a lot of which we never see yes. is so much a product of what they become. I think the one thing that, that surprises me about the NBA is how hard these men work at their craft. The Be best ones, the very best guys. The very best guys spend the most time in the gym. You just want to tell young people, if you want to know how to be a great player, devote your time and your life to it because that's what these guys do. Well said. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, smartphones and other technology are ubiquitous nowadays. Clippers head coach Doc Rivers says teams do pay a price. Social media and texting has absolutely hurt chemistry, he said. He recalled his championship season with the Celtics. One of the best things that happened to them was during the preseason in Italy, the players couldn't get a wireless signal, and they had to actually talk with one another. Kevin? Yeah, that connection between players can make a difference. Thanks, David. Catching up on the changes for Cleveland. Channing Fries checked in for Love. Jefferson comes in for James. J.R. Smith's checked in for Kyle Korver. And Derek Rose is subbed in for Kyrie Irving. And in terms of size, not your typical center, but, man, he plays as big as any of them thanks to that terrific leaping ability. Now here's Rose. 12 points for him. His shooting has been outstanding. <laughs> Definitely one of the reasons they're up in this game. And there's Miritich on the assist by Wade. Wade's got six assists here tonight. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. And that was the play to make. Rose making the right read. Felicio, the pass to Grant. And the officials whistle a good. foul on the shot. Good. The bucket's good. He'll go to What's the up? line. And Cleveland making a change here. Green's checked in. The Bulls have gone two for two in the game at the line. And team free throw numbers really about as good as you could ask for. Around 80% on the season. It's stolen by Jefferson. Here's Smith and a foul on the shot. He'll go to the stripe for two. Foul. That's on Dwayne Wade. And guys, you have to be careful in how you guard Smith. He's so good at drawing contact. And so he hits both. Impeccable from the line since halftime. The Bulls shooting their fourth and fifth shots at the foul line in the game. And he makes the first. And both free throws good for Wade. There's 14 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. There's Rose with the three. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Wade outside. Off the mark. And at the end of the third quarter, a huge...